Good morning, boys and girls. Um, for this activity today, we're gonna do one of those copy and draw activities. Now we've done these before with other types of animals, so this won't be unfamiliar to you. This one we're gonna do today on sheep because we've been learning about sheep this week. All right, let's read the sentences together. Sheep live on farms. Sheep eat grass. Some sheep are white. Sheep have wool. Good. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna copy these sentences onto our lined paper, okay? So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna take one sentence at a time. Now, if you get kind of lost with your, um, like you, you get kind of confused, you can put a little sticky note or something like that to kind of cover it up so that you can see that you're only working with one sentence at a time. So I'm gonna start with sheep live on farms. Now remember, I am going to use my best kindergarten handwriting, using a capital letter and putting my letters on the lines the exact right way, just like I see here. Between my words, what do I need? You got it, my finger space. Live on farms. And then what goes at the end of my sentence? You got it, a period. Now look at how much room I have right here. I can still keep writing my next sentence there. So I am not going to drop down like they did here. They ran out of room. See that, how it ran out because of this little box here? We have a ton of room. So we are not gonna go here. We are gonna keep going. Sheep eat grass. Whoa, uh -oh. what did I do wrong here? You got it. I put a capital P in the middle of my um, sentence there. And if we do a mistake like that, we just use our eraser on our pencil and we fix that. That's why we need to do all of our work using pencil. Eat grass. And parents, you should be checking the work to make sure that their handwriting is good too. All right, and so again, I'm going to Go like that on my next sentence. Put my finger down and keep going. Some sheep are white is my next sentence. Some sheep are. Now because you are just copying these, your handwriting should be absolutely, absolutely perfect. Right, no misspelled words, no missing, uh, punctuation or end marks, okay? And then our last one, put my finger down and keep going. Sheep have wool. Whoops, broke my pencil. And I put my period at the end there. All right, so now what you can do is you flip it over onto the back or on your case, you just print out your next um, sheet there. And what you're gonna do is you're going to do your best to duplicate this picture, okay? And you're going to draw using these steps, all right? So I like to use pencil when I'm doing this. Can you see both of the pages right now? Mm, that might be, well, I'll do my best, okay? But, um, you'll have your sheet in front of you. So I'm gonna start here with number one. I'm gonna start with my uh, rectangle in the middle because that's where the sheep was um, on the page that we're trying to copy. Okay, so let's see how it looks like that. Oh, you can't really see too well, but. Um, and then the ear and head. And then step two. So you're doing the red part each time. We're gonna do some my wool and an eye. Step three, so when you see these dash marks, that means that you erase, remember how we did that? Now we're just gonna go around the whole thing with those scallops, like wool. And then I'm gonna erase the inside of my uh, rectangle here. And we'll put the tail on. Okay. 
and then two legs. And then two more. All right, now, but you are not done with your picture because like I said, you need to make your picture look just like the front, okay? So see how I, now I have my lamb in the middle? So I need to do my farm and do that detailed picture just like you see on the front, all right? So I'm going to do some hills in the background. Okay. And I'm gonna do the far, the barn and the silo. So to the barn, I'm going to do like a kind of a square with the top. And then the silo goes next. And I'm going to put a little window and barn door on those. Okay, I'm going to do some clouds in the sky. Send some sheep in the background on the hills. So doing your best, because these will be a little bit harder to do because they're smaller. See how they don't have to be as good as the other one that you did because they're a little bit littler. And I'm just gonna do two in the background. All right, I'm going to do um, some grass for him to stand on in the foreground. And I'll do a fence. Those are my fence posts. So you gotta keep the sheep in. All right, your fence posts. And between the fence posts, you have what's called barbed wire. Barbed wire doesn't hurt the animal, but it keeps them inside. And you put these little like X's on the wire so you can see it. Sometimes they use the little barbs on the barbed wire to scratch themselves with my sheep. That's what she always did too. She would scratch herself on there and then there'd be a big tuft of wool stuck on the fence. It's kind of funny. Okay, so now I've got, oh, and I'll put some light grass around here. I've got most of my detail done on my picture. Now I can use my crayons and color it in. Okay, so to color it in, wow. Um, you can make it look just, just exactly like that with the colors, or you can um, maybe not have a field of yellow, maybe make it all green if you would like, but do your best to make it look really, really nice. So color around everything. I'm gonna color around the windows, and I'm gonna color those in with my black crayon. Just do the X and then color that in like that. Doesn't it look nice? And then maybe use my brown just to color the roof. So it looks like a roof. Yeah, like that, okay? And I'm going to do my background field, this, these light greens. And then my front, this darker green. Okay. My table is making weird lines. Okay, I'm gonna use the back side of my crayon to color the front just lightly. And then I color in my fence post. And I'm gonna use the back side of my light green crayon to color around these sheep. I am not gonna color these sheep in the background at all because I have a feeling that if I do, they're gonna get kind of messed up. 
And so you can go right over the top of your barbed wire. It won't hurt it at all because that's actually going to be gray. So you're gonna leave it gray. Oh, it's squeaking. Am I taking my time on this, boys and girls? I am. If it's taking me this long to do it, it should take you this long to do it, right? Now I am going to color in very lightly. I actually have a gray colored crayon. Where did that guy go? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna color these guys in this darker color. If you just have a black, that would work too. But if you have a gray, cause you have that kind of crayon box, just so that you can kind of see the uh, detail on the legs a little bit better. And I'm not gonna color those guys at all. I'm gonna leave him blank. And then I'm going to do my sky and I will be done. So, and there you have it, boys and girls. Good job.